Who is that Emma person? Emma? What's her name doing on this list? This Emma person must be some kind of big shot. You might be right. Why did she help him? Who the hell are you, an exiled ninja? Here we go. Well, hello there, Mr. Ducky. Sorry for pulling the wool over your eyes. This is just one of my personas. And it isn't even my real face. You did that to get close to me? Yes, exactly. The truth is that long ago, your wife, Mari, saved my life. It's the reason I want to make her wish for you to come true. Mari used to tell me her dream for you was to live on. What relationship did you and Mari have exactly? She was my savior. If I hadn't met Mari, I wouldn't be who I am today. Mari was the first mentor that I ever had. She took a smart and steadfast approach to our missions and always completed them without fail. In my eyes, she was the very embodiment of what the ideal ninja should be. At that time, there were three individuals in the organization who were known as the best of the best. Zai, you, and Mari. She was an extraordinary person. I had nothing but respect for her, not just as a ninja, but also as a human. Are you always wearing that? Yes. Mind if I ask why? When I was a child, my face was all smashed up in an accident that left me horribly disfigured. My mother and father couldn't bear to look at me. And so they left me there. I was completely alone until I got adopted by the organization. You no longer have the face of a respectable human. <laughs> However, it is for that very reason you may now transform yourself into anyone. <laughs> so from now on you shall live your life as a ninja. Those words guided me into learning how to be a master of disguise. So that I could transform myself into whoever I wanted to be. Take it off. You're gorgeous. Please don't pity me. I know that I'm nothing but hideous. Wrong. I think you're the most beautiful person I've ever seen. After all, your face, that is where all of your pride as a ninja comes from. <laughs> Now you know my secret art. I can make it appear like someone has died by putting their body in a state of suspended animation. I'm going to pass down this technique to you. But I was told the secret arts were something you never revealed to anyone in any circumstance. I'm doing this because the day will come when you'll need to use it. Looking back on those moments, I think that may have been the happiest time of my life. But then, it ended very abruptly. Do you think the organization is on the verge of undergoing radical change? I really hope not. But if you become the new chieftain and lead the organization, then maybe... Forget about that. There's something that I've been meaning to tell you. Uh. There's a baby growing inside me. 
Uh, but, but how? Because I fell in love with someone. There's no place for me here, now that I have broken the code. Why are you here? If you must know, the previous chieftain gave me a top-secret mission to carry out. That duty involves determining whether the next candidate to be our leader is truly worthy of the role or not. And in the event that they prove unworthy, to bury them. I'm sorry for deceiving you. I already knew what you were, from the first time we met. Please. Just please let that baby go. And then live as a ninja once again. your true power this whole time, weren't you? Lies and exception are tools that I use to uphold my duty as a watcher! Uh. To tell you the truth, I can't even recall what my parents looked like. But whenever I try to remember, it's your face that comes to mind. Nevertheless. It seems I've lost. At the very last second, you made a move to cover for your baby. You would have won otherwise. You going to kill me now? I don't know. Everything is unclear to me and I'm not sure what I should do anymore. All I ever wanted was to live as a ninja, but now the organization is nothing like it was before. Fleeing from it and spending the rest of my days as a ninja in hiding? There's no pride to be found in that. I hate the idea of living such a pathetic life. So at the very least, I want to go out like a ninja should! Ninjas don't have emotions, and thus cannot know what family is. But this baby, it gave me a family. And now it's become my new reason to live. Emotions are not something that gets ninjas killed. They actually give them life. So please live on. You have always been someone I consider part of my family. <laughs> and so do I. What are you going to do now? I will remain as a member of the organization for now. Someone needs to stay behind and keep track of what they're doing from the inside. And also, I still have my duty as the Watcher left to fulfill. And ever since then, Mari and I have secretly stayed in touch. Even on the night of her death. When I heard about the attack, I rushed to your house to try to save you all. But it was too late to save Mari or Ren. The only one I had the chance to save was you. That night I used my own secret art. I completely froze all your cells by piercing a special pathway, putting your body into suspended animation. After it's been used on someone once, those pathways close and it can never be used again. I'm sorry that I couldn't save your wife. And I'm sorry that I couldn't save your son. The chieftain of the organization dispatched me on a mission. I was sent to uncover the truth behind your resurrection. And so I approached you as the FBI agent, Emma. Hello, Mr. Logan. I'm Mike Morris with the FBI. And I'm Emma Samanda. Pardon us for bothering you at such a difficult time. But there is another side to me. Now, now we, we can, can finally, finally talk. talk. Egon. Egon. That's right. I was the mysterious benefactor who helped you. I did it so you could have your revenge. You observed me under orders of the organization, while betraying them to help me? Why? I have my own personal goal that I want to achieve, and there is no way I could fulfill it if you happened to die. So I need you to live. After I became one of their lieutenants, 
I learned that the organization was no more than Alza's puppet. The others no longer had honor or respect for the ninja way. That's why I feel this was my destiny. All the time I spent observing them was so that I could ultimately assist you. I'd like to ask you something. What do you want to know? Why do you go out of your way to protect me? I know you said you wanted to uphold Mari's wish, but... It's not as if she asked you to, right? Yes, you're right. I'm just being selfish. It's part of a promise that I made with myself. To follow through with everything no matter what. That's what my heart settled on after Mari died. I don't expect you to understand. Because it's something personal that I have to accomplish for myself. I see how it is. To think you were a ninja the whole damn time. Are you in cahoots with the FBI? No. Not a single person at the FBI knows the truth. I was simply just following orders. So you're a ninja and a spy then? That sounds about right. I'm sorry for keeping <sighs> the truth from you. It was a duty you swore to uphold until the end, right? Uh. What's this? This is my sworn duty. My daughter died in an accident and I couldn't save her. Those are the words she left behind. It's something that nags at me, like a curse I can't break. I'm always thinking I gotta do this. I gotta see it through. My heart feels bound to it. And if experience has taught me anything, it's that all humans are like this. Everybody goes through life burdened by some curse. Now I know the same is true of you. Besides, I wasn't pissed off by the fact that you were hiding things from me. I told you before, come on, let me have you back. <laughs> this is a lovely drawing. It may seem like a curse to you now, but there might come a time down the road when it proves to be useful. Care for a drink, just like old times? <laughs> <laughs>